Hi, Jeff Kloman with Sprint. I'm going to talk to you about the Evo 3D 4G. The, uh, there's a few things about the Evo 3G 3D that are important. Number one is it is a 3D screen. It also is a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon processor, so a couple of industry firsts there. Uh, it also has the latest version of Sense from HTC, which is a full carousel UI. So you're able to come back to your home screen. <clears throat> a couple other aspects about it is it uses a uh, MHL HDMI connection. So it serves both your micro USB as well as your HDMI out. The phone itself has twin five megapixel cameras for 3D video and still capture, as well as a 1.3 uh, megapixel front facing camera. If we go into the uh, 3D playback, a couple unique things. One is 3D playback on the device, so it will recognize that it is a 3D file and display the file appropriately. So this is uh, the trailer for the Green Hornet in 3D. <clears throat> that file can also be played, out, played back onto a 3D TV ver via the HDMI out. So we can connect that, start the play, and it'll output to your, uh, to your 3D TV as well. Also does have the ability to capture and display 3D stills. So here are some <clears throat> 3D stills on the device. The device will actually launch with uh, Blockbuster with 3D content, so you'll be able to get Blockbuster's full suite of 2D content as well as 3D content on the device. Another unique aspect is uh, HDMI. HDMI out will be enabled for Blockbuster Store, so you'll be able to play your content through HDMI out to your TV, so it won't be stuck on your mobile device. Um, let's see. Pricing and availability. Um, we haven't announced pricing, but availability will be this summer. We haven't amou announced a specific date yet. A um, couple side shots, so you can see the, the shutter button as well as the 2D, 3D uh, switch for going between 2D and 3D still capture and video capture. Uh, one gig of uh, RAM, four gig of ROM. It'll support 32 gig card and will ship with an eight in the box.